Now then, welcome back to Free to Play Fridays. Once again, we're here in League of Legends. Last episode, last week, week one of Free to Play Fridays, I used some really old footage from League of Legends, a game that I've played a lot of. And back then, when I recorded that, I was set on recording a series. A series that at the time never got released. Well, here we are. Free to Play Fridays started this December. Now, I'm ready to play it again. Now I'm ready to move on and make a series. There's a few things that we need to go over first, so this episode is more an introduction to League of Legends. To let you uh, newbies, those of you that are thinking about playing League of Legends and never have, those of you that like the look of the game but have never tried it, those of you that have never even heard of the game but want to find out more, that's what this episode's all about. So first off, we've got a little bit of footage from a very, very basic game that we played the other day. Following on from that, I will chat to you about things behind the scenes. The actual game mechanics behind the game itself. Uh, most of the time on YouTube, you will see the game itself being played out. But there is a lot to the behind the scenes, setting up your characters, uh, setting up your champions, buying champions, why this free to play game is worth getting. Why this free to play free to play game is unlike others in the fact that it is a balanced free to play game that anybody can win without spending a single penny. People can spend hundreds of pounds or hundreds of monies on it, hundreds of pounds, hundreds of dollars on the game, but it doesn't guarantee that they're going to win. Some of the free to play games I've seen, you spend a load of money on it, you start off with all the awesome kit and you win games. In League of Legends, you have to earn every single step of the way. And so this is what the new uh, Summoner's Rift looks like. It is pretty dang amazing. I do like it. Yes, I do. We're going to start off the game. I think someone's already called mid. Yeah, they've, they've actually said all mid, quick push, because it's just a quick, easy bots game. Uh, <coughs> this is, again, just a quick follow-on from episode one. I'm just having a quick look at the new layout of the maps, because that old video was quite old. But this is really cool-looking new stuff, man. Look at this. These uh, turrets are now really epic-looking. Uh, the layout all looks the same. The map looks slightly different. But that's about it. Well, we've got to rise to smash and then jump in there. I mean, this is unbelievable, really. We're all just going to smash the bots really quickly as best we can. This is not going to be any sort of new game. This is, this is just having a look at the map and seeing around the place. See what it looks like. Uh, give you a bit of a taste for what League of Legends is like now. Oh, no, he snared me. Oh no, he took me some damage. Oh no, I have to take some healing. That's not fair. Uh, this is definitely not the game mode. This is just easy bots. And obviously these people are just coming for a bit of a laugh. They're not playing the game properly. By any reason, shed of doubt, we are not playing the game properly. We're just playing. We're just playing the game. Um, it's a quick bush down the middle. Probably just to get first win of the day for people. And get some points. Get some score. Have a bit of a warm-up. And that's what I'm doing here. Before I show you the other areas of League of Legends on this free-to-play Friday. So let's go and have a look over here. The map now is looking very, very swish. Very swish and very lovely. Very nice. Uh, Warwick's having a good smash on the turret over there. I'm not going to go and face him though. We're going to carry on pushing mid like we said we would. That is the way forwards. That is the way forwards. Level 7. 405. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Master Yi's doing his own thing. Doing his own thing. Around and about the place. And uh, looks like our guys are in some kind of trouble. Oh, snap. Oh, 
Oh yeah, snappy, snappy. Oh yeah. <laughs> too easy, bots. Too easy. Come on, bots. Too easy. I need more mana regen though. That would be nice. Let's go and take a blue buff because, well, it's there and I haven't taken it, so therefore it's still there. And I could do with taking the blue buff in order to give me some bonuses here. Uh, I haven't taken it in this format. This looks pretty cool. I like the way it's got the little blue circle on the back there. That looks pretty cool. Oh, I really need to get the mana now. Thank you. Now I've got the blue buff. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme. Thank you. Give me the blue buff. I've got the blue buff. Now give me that's it. I got there eventually. Blue buff gives you lots of extra mana up, uh, enhancement. So now I've got a bonus to my mana regen, which means I can spam a lot, a lot faster. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Shut down. Come on, then, Lux. Come on out of your hiding place. Come on out of your hidey hole. I got it. I got it. Got it. Good. Got it real good. Okay. And... And snap. Take this out. Yes. And now we move on from the turret to destroy this thing here, the inhibitor. The inhibitor stops the minions from being big, badass minions. These little minions come on instead. I like the way all the minions look like little soldiers now and mi wizards. Little wizards and warriors now. They look pretty cool. I like that look. I like that look. That look is good. And I'm going back, back, back. I'm going back. Going back, going back, going back, 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 going back, 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 back. I've got my teleport ready, so I can come straight back into the action when I'm ready to. Uh, but I've got this now. I'll get some of this now. i get some of this now. get some more of this now. Let's go with that one. Gives me more mana and armor. And that's what I got the armor for earlier. And head back in. Let's just uh, teleport up to an ally. Yeah, I'll teleport up to that. That'll do nicely. Thank you. Double kills for me. All the kills for me. All the kills for me. Now someone's getting all the kills before me. Not good, not good, not good. Woohoo! Check that out! That was epic. <laughs> A bit epic. You see me just turn on them. Took them all down real quick. I get a little life steal with it now and everything as well. Kill them all. Just, just kill them all. Bring it on, you minions all. Bring it on, the minions all. Ha! And that's what happens if you go onto the platform. The big blazer at the end there pops your face off. So your end screen at the end of your victory or your defeat or whatever start showing you all of the bits and pieces like what level people got up to because you can go from level 0 to level 18 uh, in the game. Each game starts separate. Uh, shows you score. So I got 17 kills, 1 death, which is that one at the end. 25 assists, which was pretty good. Um, 
in comparison, I got the top kills, which I didn't feel like I was. I felt like Heimerdinger was actually getting most of the kills there. It tells you what items you bought, what your friends bought, what your opponent's team bought. It shows you what their kill-to-death ratios were, what levels they got to, and all that. Gives them the names and all those details about what level they were playing at. So I'm a level 30. Uh, there's a level 30. There's another level 30. There's a level 21. There's a level 10. So those two are just getting started, building up. There's, there's a couple of level 30s already in there. Uh, how much gold you earned throughout the game and how many minions you killed during the game. It also gives you your total victories and total defeats and all that kind of stuff. You can also see this information on a grid if you want to see actual damage details and things like that. Like my magic damage dealt, 45,000. Whereas Heimerdinger, 68,000 damage dealt. Damage dealt overall, Heimerdinger did 86,000. And I did 55,000. It's all about who you, how you play it and who you play. And who you're playing against as well. Because a lot of other opponents may or may not be absolutely rubbish. You can also have a look at graphs. You can have a look at champion kills. Da, 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 da. So there we go at the top there with 17 champion kills. We can have a look at killing spree. So I had a 17 killing spree because I didn't die once. So therefore I had the highest killing spree. It's pretty good. Multi-kill. The highest multi-kill. Well, we got a 3. So we got a triple kill. I got a triple kill and they got a triple kill. It's awesome. Gives you all these stats if you're interested. Most people just click play again. And just join and the next queue to play all over again. You can also have a little chat. There's a little chat area here for chatting with the team. Total random people, or you may want to give them a GG, good game. Uh, or just say you are a brilliant player. Thank you very much for playing with me. I've really enjoyed myself. See you next time. Uh, a lot of the time, though, because this is a free-to-play, you also get the idiots. And uh, League of Legends do a really good job of getting rid of the idiots. Um, people are calling you a loser for playing badly, even though you're playing easy bots uh, or beginner bots, as it works out. And you are obviously a level zero, just starting out, haven't won a game, and they will thrash you in the comments, just to have a go. But there is this little report and honour situation going on over here. You can report players for being obnoxious and bad language and just generally not playing the game right. And you can also honour players for when they do give you appreciation, when they do uh, help you out. Give you advice rather than shouting at you. Give you a bit of encouragement if you just feel like you've had a good time with that player. You can honour them. Or if they're really giving you some jip, don't worry about it. Because you'll probably never meet them ever again in a game. But you can report them and say they were rubbish. Don't ever play with them. In fact, there's certain systems that allow um, summoners, as we are called, to remove from the community other players if they get reported enough times for serious enough offences such as actual um, racisms and sexisms and uh, uh, complete and utter yeah you get the idea uh, well back onto the home screen and you get all of these nice big shiny images to show you what you want but the main button is just play there you do have these other bits and pieces in the summoners section where you can view your profile, check your profile out, see where you are, where your where your victories and all that are. I've played no ranked, as you can see, no ranked as of yet, as of yet. I'm kind of hinting that I want to try a bit of ranked for this series. Uh, there's a solo queue, and there's a duo queue, solo duo queue, and there's also ranked teams. Um, I've played quite a bit. As you can see, I've got. Quite a lot of wins. This is PvP wins, I believe. 103 PvP wins. So I have played a few PvP matches. Just had a good good laugh every now and again. Uh, but I am currently down at bronze because I don't play ranked very often. But if you play ranked often enough, you can jump up through the ranks. Um, I'm never likely to get above platinum. Because I don't play it seriously enough, or often enough, or practice enough, or know enough about the game, uh, ins and outs. Because of all the champions you've got, uh, you need to know your enemy, so you, you can prepare yourself. I tend to stick around bronze level, and don't think, without uh, really pushing myself, I'll get to silver. 
And then if I really, really want to carry on pushing myself, I might get to gold. But I don't think I could get past gold into platinum, diamond, master, and so on. That's for, like, the pro gamers. The pro gamers like to live in this e era. And uh, there's quite a lot of money to be made and big championship matches for the master and challenger tier. Um, match history also gives you details. As you can see, I had a couple of defeats recently. Well, actually, a long time ago. October. And this is now December. So my last few games were quite a long time ago. September, October. Uh, Champions-wise, tells you all the champions you've got. All the champions that are currently available. Because being a free-to-play game, you do get... Um, free-to-play... Uh, not owned? No. Available. The, the They call it a rotation. And every week, these little icons come up here. Uh, and that means that these characters are free to play that week. These champions are available for you to pick, even though you don't own them, during the free to play week. Okay, uh, Rise happens to be on a free to play this week. But every week it changes, and I think it changes on a Tuesday-ish. I might be mistaken, but it changes like every week. So all of the champions become available to you eventually for you to have a play with um and also you can purchase the champions but we get to how you spend your money and all that in a minute uh you've also got ruins runes and masteries uh these sort of give you like the starting block when you're starting a match um everybody at zero level has no ruins no slots and as you level up your uh, profile say i'm level 30 as you level up through the 30 levels, you unlock the slots in the ruins. And then you can purchase different marks, uh, seals, and glyphs. And also quintessence, which give you bonuses as a starting champion. So a zero level player with a starting champion would have basic starting stats for that champion. Whatever they may be. Uh, starting uh, a 30th level with the same champion could gain all of the runes that they want to be able to add in extra statistics. So I start with Rise, an extra 101, an extra 4.5% movement speed, an extra 9 armor, and an extra 7.8 magic pen from my runes. Uh, masteries are similar. You get mastery points. I think you get 20, uh, 21, no, 31, 31 is it? Mm, 30 something like that <laughs> adding up uh yeah it's 30 in it 30 points one per level and you can put those into these tree of skills that go with them and my mana tank rise uses this particular mastery setup if anybody actually knows league of legends then that's what i use i use uh the extra cooldown extra mana mana bigger starting gold uh, more lifesteal spell vamp, health regens and things like that in this section more than others. And you basically only get this bonus when you start a game. So these ruins give you a bonus at the start of the game. Masteries give you the bonus at the start of the game. When you start getting items, when you start buying the items throughout the game, they tend to take over from your ruins and masteries. Your ruins and masteries are there to give you a good head start. And the bonuses they give you stay with you through the whole match. Um, in fact, every single match you ever play, they will be there unless you change them. Uh, but items tend to give you larger bonuses. So, for instance, I've got ruins that give me an extra 101 mana, which is pretty cool. Uh, but this Tear of the Goddess, which is an early game item for me, gives me 250 mana. That gives me another 250 mana. That gives me another 200 mana. Um, this then gives me 450 mana. Uh, that one gives me 400 mana. That one boosts me up and potentially gives me a thousand mana. So as you can see, that 101 mana is very good at starting, but eventually it doesn't really make a difference at the end of the game. That little bit extra compared to your opponent will always make a big difference if you're both equally matched and that's the only thing that changes you. But the chances are, if you're evenly matched, they also have the same runes and masteries as you do. There's also summoner spells, which you saw me use a teleport, and also a ghost in that uh, very easy bot game that we played. Um, teleport and ghost. These 
are summoner spells, and everybody unlocks these as they go through the 30 levels as well, and they allow you to uh, do various abilities. You just have to read them and figure out what they do. You've got a barrier, an exhaust, a cleanse, a teleport, a clairvoyance, a flash, a ignite, a smite. Uh, there's garrison, clarity, ghost, and heal. All of these become available at various levels, and you build yourself up. Now, with item sets, you can now set yourself a set. So, like... Um, I choose Rise and I decide what set of items I want to go for. So when you're choosing items in the shop, there's a, a quick reference. So you can just click on that and go to its purchase. Nice and easy in-game. Uh, each game you have to build your champion fresh from level zero. But you get all these bonuses and little quick hit and, uh, hints to help you through the day. So those of you that played League of Legends, that's my setup. That's the full build I'm heading towards, and these are the stages. So, uh, starting kit. First time I go back, I try and get my tier. Then I'm into these guys during the game, depending on what I need to go for. So, extra health if I'm taking a lot of damage. Extra armor if I'm up against an AD carry, which does um, damage versus armor equals how much damage they do to me. Um, spell vamp if I'm already actually doing really well, I get the spell vamp. And Spell Magic Penetration is sort of like a standard. I go for that regardless of who I'm playing against or when I'm playing. Uh, but I'm designed to go up against another Magic user most of the time. Uh, then you've got the shop. Browsing through the shop. There is a lot to choose from in shops. And uh, yeah, there's some crazy new stuff that I haven't seen before. Um, <clears throat> we've got two types of money in League of Legends. Okay, uh, two types of money. One type of money you purchase with real money, in a, a kind of a, a pay to win. Okay, but the reason League of Legends is loads more balanced than any other pay to win game is that you earn um, normal influence points every game you play. So uh, you may have noticed last game I earned some more influence points. I've currently got 16,771 influence points and 61 riot points. Riot points are what you have to actually pay for. Now, champions can be purchased for riot points or influence points. So with 16,000, I could buy another couple of new champions because there's 6,300 is the most expensive champion. So with the 6,300 influence points, all you have to do is just play the game over and over again. Win or lose, you're going to get some influence points and you're going to be able to buy new champions to play, uh, to own forever and ever and ever. So that gives you a nice balance because you don't have to worry about that. Yeah. Um, also, the ruins that we looked at, they are also purchasable by influence points. So you don't actually spend real money on those to buy those as you level up. So you never need to spend money to level up those bits and pieces. Um, there are some boosts. So you can purchase with real money boosts. So you get uh, IP boost, which basically gives you influence points on top of your influence points when you're playing to get your influence points up. And an experience boost to get you through the levels quicker. Um, there's bundles sometimes as well. These are bundles of champions and things like that that give you a little extra quick start. You can pay for that. Uh, but nothing is unattainable for people who are playing for free except for skins. And all the skin does is basically makes your champion look slightly different. So Heartseeker Ash, for instance. The initial Ash... When you buy the champion, you get this skin of Ash. Uh, but you can purchase many, many, many different skins that just make her look different in the game. Which is cool enough. Does no difference whatsoever in how you play or how you can play the game. It costs you real money to graphically change your champion to make it look cool. So if you've got spare money, you can do it. If you've got no spare money, you don't need to do it. You don't need to do it. You can also purchase ward skins, which you don't need to do. But they look cool, so people do it. So really, the balance of real money spending and the like is very, very good. There is a 
a lot of ways to purchase and quite quite hefty chunks of money can be purchased. It can be pay to win, but the pay to win side really it doesn't make any difference to the game. Because they do the free champions in the play, you can choose free champions to play. Uh, you can earn IP points by playing free champions in order to then purchase a champion that you like the look of. That's another thing. Uh, and you can do all sorts of other cool things in League of Legends. Uh, sometimes starting a match may take approximately five minutes to find a team to play with. But you eventually get there. Let's accept that. And then every champion you've got available to you will be available in your list, including the ones you don't own that are free to play, you see? So, if no one else is picking Rise, they've uh, picked top. Let's no go. one else is picking Let's Rise, go. I choose my runes and masteries, pick Rise, and head on into the game. I'm going to enjoy myself. I'll see you next time on Free to Play Fridays. Maybe next week I'll be doing some more League of Legends. Maybe not. We'll see what we see what I feel like. See what I get up to. Maybe if I get enough likes and comments in the uh, comment section down below, maybe I will start trying to play ranked League of Legends for your amusement on Free to Play Friday. See how far I can get up actually in ranked matches.